Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to kill those pesky processes that just don't want to die. So for example, let's have Kate. Here's just a simple text editor and it closes fancy dancy. But let's go ahead and stop Kate with control Z. Kate's no longer working properly. It's, it's pretty much frozen. There's a couple ways we can try killing this process. Way one is kill all. Kill all. And the process name. That'll kill all instances of Kate. I only have one, so that would be a valid way to do it. Now, notice Kate's not dead. What do you do if kill all has failed? Well, you can pass in a signal to kill and kill all. Um, dash 9 is the most nasty signal you can pass in. If dash 9 doesn't work, you're better off rebooting than trying to continue to kill the process. But we'll go ahead and kill dash 9 that, and you can see that it did kill the process. And you, you'll notice when I hit enter, my job control tells me you done killed Kate. Another way to do this is with just plain old kill. We'll do the same thing, freeze Kate, but this time we're going to find the PID. Probably the easiest way to find the PID is with top. Um, if you've got a, if you're trying to find something that uses a lot of CPU, definitely top's the easiest way. But for us, Kate's not taking very much CPU, so PS will do what we want. So PS UAX is what I always pass in. Type grep. So this is printing out a process table, and we're piping that process table into grep, and we're going to search for whatever. So in this case, Kate. Uh, honestly, both of these lines are irrelevant. The one we're looking for is this top one. It's almost always going to be the top one. So this is our PID. We can now type in kill and that PID. And this is the same thing as kill all at this point. And look, it did the same thing. And we can also, because it didn't work, pass in a dash 9, and we get, we done killed it. Alright, and another useful way to kill a process, especially a graphical process, is with xkill. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing, put him in the background, but this time we're going to actually make him run. And we'll just pretend he's broken. Here's Kate, broken. We're going to go to the, a console, make sure you can still see Kate when you run this command and type in xkill you'll notice your cursor changes to a little crossbones be careful what you click on anyway click on your broken application and it will kill it that's the last way I'm going to show you how to kill a process thanks for watching